Hey guys, how are you? My name is Tina Hofstetter. I'm a star beauty guy with Lamla Biocone. How are you guys? I know it's just been some hours, right? Like <clears throat> you just heard me talking about some of our great products. And I wanted to show you guys the product that I was using on my lips today and talking about being grateful and are you grateful? Because that right there, that, you know, some things. Let's see if anybody jumps on. Put some perfume on. Hi, Caleb. Let's put some perfume on and it just starts your day, right? Like, whatever you do, your little ritual that starts your day. Hi, Theonora. Whatever starts your day, make sure you, and it makes you feel good make that happen every day because if you don't then what happens is it makes you feel like you forgot about something so being grateful for whatever you have in your life right now whether it's just family um you feel like you're not financially there yet the only person that can change that financial situation is you right but I wanted to talk about grateful because some things people think that you know you have to be financially stable you have to be financially it, it's all about financials right um some people feel that you know if i'm financially stable i'm grateful i'm grateful for my friends and my family and i'm grateful for waking up and breathing the other day i was just thinking about that i was like i just felt like maybe i was just stressed out like just just overwhelmed with certain things and I was laying in bed and I was just like, oh, that's what I was going to talk to you about. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I wanted to mention. Um, what I have on my lips today is I outline them with our grape. And people often think like this combination is kind of weird, right? But because I love it. Um, grape lip liner on the outside. And then I put Believe on just on the inside almost. And then I just kind of, you know, meshed your lips together. Um, but that was... Look at, but our liners, like, sorry to change the subject, but our liners, like, they blend well. So you can have that outer corner and then you have the... I love, love this color because if you have really pink lips, this actually helps just bring out the color in your lips. So that's what I love about it. But being grateful, let me go back because I don't want my replay watchers to get bored on me talking about makeup, you know. I just wanted to show you guys that combo. Um, and I just thought being grateful for whatever you have in life sometimes seems very hard if you're going through a hard time, right? So my thing when I chat with people and they're just like, oh, you're doing such an amazing job. You're doing this. I almost stop and realize, like, let me let me be grateful for this. Someone telling me that I'm helping them in one little aspect of their life. And that's just being very inspiring to them. And I am grateful for that. I'm grateful for when I have a financial problem. You know why? Because that makes me strive that harder to do what I need to do. Often people don't find that, oh, you're going to be grateful for that situation. The Be grateful for it because you know what? It's going to make you think, you know what? What do I have to do to make whatever situation a better situation? Yes, I believe in God and I pray to him and I'm grateful for him too. I'm grateful for a lot of things that are happening to me right now. I just, I can't believe like I can go on live and inspire someone. That I am grateful for because I used to be that type of person um, that used to talk to people and I felt like I was helping them be negative. Like, and I was just like, why? Wait. I was almost helping them be the way that they wanted to continue to be until I was like realizing like, why am I talking like this? This is not even me. I'm more of a positive person. I like to talk crap, but who doesn't, you know, my thing is let's feel happy for what you have right now, because the only person that could change 
anything in your life is you. You, you, you. You can change it. I can't change it. I can help you change it. I could give you different things to do to change it. I can't just say, you know what? This is going to happen and this, um, you're going all out. You know, some people feel like, oh, thank you for the hearts, Heather. Um, people often think like, oh, I have to be grateful only when I receive something. Well, you have toothpaste, you have a face wash, you have body soap, you woke up, I mean, you were able to put your clothes on, you're moving. Yeah, you might be in pain internally, but you were able to do all those things. You were able to wake up, first of all, that is like the huge, most grateful thing that you can actually ask for. I'm serious, like, if you're not happy and grateful for just waking up this morning, then you can start changing whatever you want to change because that is going to make you change when you start being grateful. When you start being grateful for the things that are happening, whether they're great things, bad things, mediocre, you know, they're just things that you need in life, just know that a little bit, Start it. just start with a little bit. That's all I ask. That's all the man upstairs wants or your higher power of the that you praise. He just, oh, sorry. <coughs> he just wants you to make sure that you're taking him into consideration. Because if you don't, then it makes you feel like, it almost makes you feel lost. I'm sorry to say, like, I pray and when I pray, I'm just like, I feel such a better person. And often people think like, oh... I don't pray, I don't do this, I don't do that, I don't do that. And it's like, why don't you? Like, why don't you do certain things? Right? Another day above ground is a great day. It's not a good day. It's a great day. It might be bad. Like, I'm just thinking, I was driving to work and I was just like, I'm so grateful for everything that's happening because it's teaching me something new today. It's teaching me to be a better person for tomorrow versus yesterday because I can't do nothing from yesterday, right? I could only do what I could do for today and today will help my future. And to me, that's just something that I think about. I always think about like, oh, I can do this. I can do this. It might take, let's see, I will tell you, <coughs> the first five minutes of you waking up in the morning, Love you, Heather. Um, the first five minutes of you waking up should be very, not even thinking about anything, but thinking, maybe just thinking for waking up. When you start doing that, I will tell you that lots of things will change. Your attitude changes. You wake up and you're feeling better. Like you're not feeling sick. You're not feeling, just be grateful. The one thing that I've been doing um, that has helped me, like even though I'm going through like, I could be going through of just not feeling good. I have a headache. I have this, you know, or just something like it's just I just feel something ain't right. And I'll just lay down and I think before I go to sleep, I'll think about what's positive in the night. Like, I think, OK, tomorrow I'm going to be grateful even more for whatever it is. If you take care of yourself and you have kids and you have a husband or a spouse, um, a wife or you know girlfriend or boyfriend you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else and that's the thing people don't realize is that they think taking care of everybody else is going to be so much better for them yeah it it is better for them that they have that person being able to take care of them but at the same time you can't take care of them if you're not taking care of yourself so be grateful for what you have Every second of the day, whether it's a problem and you're crying it out or just be grateful for it, because some things sometimes people there's not a lot of people that can be grateful for anything. And then they're the most powerful people. Right. You think, oh, how do they do stuff? How do they you know, how did they get there? How did they do that? How why are they there? Why are they at the top? You know, they're at the top because they thought positively like this is going to work for me. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to do everything that is making it go and I'm going to go above and beyond on what the average person might do. So I hope you guys got a little bit out of this. This is just 
a chat, Tina, you know, in my car. This is where I do my business. So I showed you guys this lipstick, which is the gloss is Believe and the lip liner is Grape. Really pretty colors together. Um, I think it'll go great on anybody. Um, so if you have any questions in regards to being inspired, you feel like you need some motivation, let me know because I could be that person for you. I can be that person for you to teach you how to be inspiring, teach you how to be grateful for the little things. Start with the little things because once he sees that you are grateful for the little things, the big things are going to come up and they're going to be so much better. So be grateful for it any little thing that happens to you whether it's good or bad i mean the bad things we feel like oh why am i going to be grateful for that think of it as an experience experience hi mela hi priscilla um think of that as an experience that you had to go through for the next thing to come along to feel like oh my god this is such an inspiring thing this has helped me i'm so grateful for this happening because now this is happening over here so if you guys have any questions let me know. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I miss you, Mela. I miss you. I was thinking about you the other day um, on Monday. Um, I was thinking about you because Fausto said, oh, you should sit in Mela's desk. <laughs> he's so funny. I said, yeah, he's missing Mela. So... I'll let you guys go. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Tina Hofstetter, Star Beauty Guide with Lima Biocom. Thanks. Bye.